Hugh Jackman movie draft time. Hugh and Jackman. we're going to see how many different movies that we can actually choose that are not Wolverine related. But Hugh Jackman, born October 12th, 1968. He is turning 56 years old and still looks amazing. And by yeah, the way, yeah. for a Oops. pretty long time there, my kid had a massive crush on Hugh Jackman. And I mean massive crush on Hugh Jackman. But Frank, you get to go first, my good man. What is your first Hugh Jackman movie? Well, I mean, I'm glad I got to go first because this most recent one he was in, I'm oh, pretty God sure damn it. is what everybody wants to take. So, Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> man, I should have said I get to go first just for just because. <laughs> I was so happy I did because after this it's downhill. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty limited on uh, on the old uh, huge. Oh, it's not, movies. but but I mean as far as like the one that people really like really get into because he's got a lot of great work out there. If you haven't like really gotten into his work, which I'll get into, it's really good stuff. But I'm gonna take this one first because everybody would hate me if I didn't. All right, well you can take that one and then I'll do I the also one. Also eat that- candy corn. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll choose the one that uh, essentially sort of broke the mold on the rated R movies, and I'll go yeah. with Logan. Yeah. All right, Anna, you're up. You get to go back to back. So Deadpool and Wolverine are off the is off the board, and Logan is off the board. So you get to go back to back movies here. I'm trying to buy you time. I'm hoping you're typing fast. You should have had it ready to go. I'm taking those t-shirts back, Anna. Poor Anna. She probably wanted those too, and now she's having to delete and put new stuff in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to be ready, though. You got to be ready. All right. Well, she's sticking with the Wolverine theme, and she's going with a little uh, X Men Days of Fuchsia Past. I like that one. I thought it was good too. It's it's interesting the timeline. How it goes with the X-Men movies is the first one is usually pretty good. The second one is really good. And then the third one is like just hot garbage. Boop, boop. All right. Anna's second movie she has gone with is The Greatest Showman. This is the uh, one that I think that got my kid into uh, never seen it. Hugh Jackman. He's playing, uh, I think it's Barnum or Bailey. Yeah, Barney, Barnum, Bailey, one of them. Yeah, One of those guys. All right. Now I get to go next. Hey, you get to go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the uh, with the Wolverine theme. All right. Uh, do I really? Well, do I? Do I want to? I'm not quite sure. I think I will. And I'm gonna go. I I, I kind of wanted to go the original X Men, but I think I'm actually gonna skip that. And I'm gonna go because this one's more about him. And I'm gonna go X Two. Really good. Really good. X Men United. All right, Frank, you're up. You get to go back to back. What are your second right, and third I movies? I'm steering away. Anna, have yours ready to go. Stuff. Uh, my first one is going to be Prisoners with him and Jake Gyllenhaal. One, Yakman should have won an award for that role because he was phenomenal in that that movie. If you haven't seen Prisoners, you you've got to get on that. That's a great movie. Yeah. Um, and my next one is going to be The Front Runner. I don't know if too many people saw this because I think it came out during the COVID time period. But it's about, uh, it's based on a true story. Um, I can't remember which politician, but uh, he was having an affair or, or something like that. And it's, I think, uh, it's going to get spoiled. Interesting. But All a, right. He did a great job of that movie, too. So Frank's got his three picks in. The next one, I... I kind of wanted to stick with the theme. Wow, because there's some really, really good ones on here. But I, I you know what? I'm going to go with the Prestige. Which I think, because it's interesting. Oh, Hello? shit. Are you there, Frank? Shit. I think my internet just crapped out. 